next story is really tough to share. It involves some school pets and torture. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig went to Detroit to find out what happened. It is the most uh, heinous, despicable, malicious act I've ever personally witnessed. It's like being in a bad, bad movie. It was a horrific scene. Farm animals slaughtered in the middle of the night. Five goats, at least eight chickens, and one barn cat, all dead. They were a couple bludgeoned. The others seemed to have had their heads hacked at, and some had puncture wounds in their heads. The farm belongs to the Catherine Ferguson Academy, a charter school in Detroit for pregnant teens and young mothers who are still in high school. The students help care for the egg-laying chickens, and the young mothers and their toddlers help milk the goats. But who would want to kill the animals? This is a crime scene, so we have to take photos before we touch anything. There was a protest here yesterday, and we're not at all, you know, we can't know who did this or why they did it, but once you change the energy around a school and you create a hostile, negative, adversarial relationship in the area, then... You don't know who that attracts or why that attracts people. The investigation is just beginning and there's nothing connecting those who were protesting the charter school's curriculum yesterday to the overnight attack on the animals. The Michigan Humane Society will be caring for one injured chicken found alive and this chicken that appears to be okay. If a kid did something like this now, if you don't stop now, you know, he's going to be a monster. We feed the animals. They let the kids go over and play, you know, play with the goats and um, they would teach the, um, the kids how to milk the goats and everything like that. It takes a certain kind of person to kill this many animals, and it's probably more than one person. Um, you know, at, at this point, we don't know. We don't have a whole lot of details. We're still gathering everything. Hopefully, we can find the person or persons that did this and bring them to justice. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.